This is a tutorial of the Nano BTE4 overview. We'll be reviewing the three components of the hearing aid. The hearing aid itself, the thin tube, and the dome. On the bottom of the hearing aid, you'll find the charging contacts. The microphones are located here. We want to be sure they're always free from wax and debris. This is the upper button and this is the lower button. The second component is a thin tube. It's connected to the hearing aid at the top and it delivers sound into the ear canal. The right and left hearing aids can be identified by the red or blue indicators on the thin tube near the dome. The red indicator is for the right ear, the blue indicator is for the left ear. This hearing aid has a red indicator, so it's for the right ear. This thin plastic piece that's attached to the thin tube is a stabilizer. It's used to keep the dome and the thin tube in place. It'll sit in the curvature of your ear just outside of the ear canal. Please refer to the user manual for more information on the stabilizer. At the tip of the thin tube is a third component, the dome. Your dome may look slightly different, but the dome is a portion that is placed in your ear canal. Welcome to the Nano Hearing Aid tutorial for the BTE4 charging case. I'll be reviewing the key features of the charging case as well as how to charge the hearing aids. All of this information can be found in the user manual on our website, nanohearingaids.com. Please note that the hearing aid should be fully charged before using the first time. You'll find that the charging case has a top and a bottom. The top can be lifted off the case. Both the top and the bottom have ridges that will help you grip each piece, making it easier to separate the two pieces. To charge the charging case, plug the larger end of the charging cable into the charger plug. This can be plugged into the wall. Connect the smaller end of the charging cable into the bottom of the charging case. The charging case has three light indicators. The indicator on the left is for the left hearing aid. The indicator on the right is for the right hearing aid. The indicator in the center is for this case itself. Orange lights indicate the charging case or the hearing aids are charging. Green lights indicate the charging case or the hearing aids are fully charged. Once the charging case indicator light is green, it can charge the hearing aids without being connected to power. In fact, a fully charged charging case can provide three cycles of charging without being connected to power. How do you know which aid is for the right ear and which aid is for the left ear? With the case in this position, you'll find the right hearing aid is on the right side, left hearing aid is on the left side. Both thin tubes and domes are in the center of the charging case. As I take the right hearing aid out of the charging case, you'll notice the light will turn off, indicating that it's no longer charging. The right hearing aid has a red indicator located right here. When I put the hearing aid back into the charging case, I do need to firmly push. The charging contacts can make contact with the case. I'll take the left hearing aid out and the indicators for the left hearing aid are blue. 
So red is for right, blue is for left. I'd like to provide a few tips about charging and the charging case. We recommend leaving the hearing aids in the charging case anytime the hearing aids are not in use. The hearing aids should be turned off prior to charging. If they're not turned off, they may not properly charge. Hearing aids powered off prior to charging will remain off when removed from the charging case. You simply have to turn them on before using. Hearing aids may be left in the charging case overnight or for an extended period of time. If the hearing aids are charged for two and a half hours, the expected amount of hearing aid use time is 12 to 16 hours. As mentioned earlier, a fully charged charging case can provide three charging cycles for a pair of BTE-4s. And the last tip is that you have two options of charging your hearing aids. If the charging case indicator light is green, you can charge your hearing aids without being connected to power. You can also charge your hearing aids with the case connected to power. We find most leave their charging case plugged into the wall and leave it on their nightstand so their hearing aids can charge overnight. Welcome to the Nano BTE4 tutorial on the controls. The controls on the BTE can be used to turn the hearing aid on and off, change the volume, and change programs. We'll be reviewing the programs in a bit. There are two controls on the hearing aid, the upper button and the lower button. To turn the hearing aid on, press and hold the lower button for three seconds. The aid will power on to the last program used. You'll hear one beep for program one, two beeps for program two, etc. To increase the volume, quick press the upper button to cycle the volume up from volume levels 1 to 10. You'll hear one beep every time the volume is increased. You'll hear three beeps when the maximum volume is reached. To decrease the volume, quick press the lower button to cycle the volume down. You'll hear one beep every time the volume is decreased. You'll hear three beeps when the minimum volume is reached. Your hearing aids have four programs from which to choose. Programs allow you to change between different listening settings by shaping the sound differently in each setting. Take time to switch between programs to determine which program best suits your comfort and listening needs. You may find program one works best for you in a quiet environment, whereas Program 4 works best for you when you're listening to music. You might also find that you prefer listening to one particular program at all times. To change the program, press and hold the upper button for 3 seconds. You'll advance from Programs 1 to 4. You'll hear the number of beeps that corresponds to the program selected. One beep for Program 1, two beeps for program two, etc. For more information on the programs, please reference the user manual found on our website, nanohearingaids.com. To turn the hearing aid off, press and hold the lower button for three seconds. You'll hear three beeps. As a reminder, please always turn your hearing aid off prior to placing it in the charging case. Please visit the user manual on our website, nanohearingaids.com, to review this information. If you have any questions about your nano hearing aids, please reach out to our advanced support team at 619-738-2438. They're available 24-7 and are happy to help.